We're on East Beach in a very windy San Francisco today. Just across the bay in Oakland last night is where the Raptors made history. Ahead on City News, we're going to show you the champagne celebrations and bring you all the excitement that happened inside Oracle Arena. But as you mentioned, first, Masai Ujiri and a little bit of hot water. Uh, he alleged that he assaulted and got into a physical altercation with a deputy sheriff moments after the Raptors won last night's championship. Video making the rounds on social media appears to show the tail end of the dispute with someone standing between Ujiri and the sheriff's deputy. Local media reports that the Raptors president tried to join his team on the court after the final buzzer, but was denied because he did not have the proper credentials. And that's when police allege things got physical. The gentleman uh, pushed our deputy again, and uh, during that push, uh, his arm struck our deputy in the jaw. There's a credentialing policy that the NBA has in place. Everybody from the top executives all the way down to the, the people working in the NBA know that you must wear credentials to get on the court. Now, it's important to note these are still just allegations. The police did not say that in the clip just there. Now, it will be up to the district attorney on whether or not to lay charges. Even Mayor John Tory is weighing in on the incident and is supporting the Raptors president. Masai Ujiri is one of the finest people that I know. I believe he is incapable of uncivilized behavior. Uh, I just think anybody who knows anything about him would know that some notion that he'd be shoving people around in Oakland or in Toronto or anywhere else in the world is, you know, not credible. And I'm sure in the end that's what will emerge here. And sometimes there can be misunderstandings, but he is just one of the finest, most decent, uh, most peaceful, uh, you know, lovable people that you could possibly imagine. He's done a great job with the Raptors on top of all that, but his personal qualities are beyond reproach. And so I just looked at that story and thought this was some kind of, you know, complicated web that had to do with other incidents that had taken place perhaps during the series or something like that. It couldn't possibly be him. Now, the Raptors and the NBA say they are cooperating with the investigation, and a spokesperson for the Raps say they're looking forward to be able, being able to put this behind them. Now, in my hand is my credentials for the NBA Finals, and in the videos that have been circulating on social media, Masai Ujiri was carrying what appears to be his credentials. Though these don't, this does not get you onto the floor immediately after the game. You allegedly needed another bracelet, perhaps a gold bracelet. It's unclear if Ujiri had one, though many people today on social media are saying He's the president of the Raptors. Someone there should have known it should not have gotten to this point. Now, for more on this developing story, go to citynews.ca.